The size of your pupils depend on the balance between the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system. Parasympathetic activation will lead to pupil constriction, known as meiosis, through the contraction of the sphincter pupilla muscle, or simply the iris sphincter, while the sympathetic innervation will lead to pupil dilation, known as mydriasis, through the iris dilator muscle. The pupil light reflex results in the constriction of the pupil in response to light. Using a pocket torch, shining light into the left eye will result in a brisk constriction of the left pupil, known as the direct pupil response. But simultaneously, the right pupil will also constrict. This is known as the consensual response. But how does this occur? Let's quickly have a look at the physiology to find out. So, light will enter the left eye through the hole, which is the pupil, between the iris, the coloured part. Here the light will hit the back of the eye where the retinal cells are, and these retinal cells will convert the light energy into electrical activity. This electrical activity will be taken back to the brain via the optic nerve, which is the second cranial nerve, specifically the left cranial nerve. But half of the information, the nasal part, will cross over through the optic chiasm to the right side of the brain, whilst the temporal part will be carried on the same side, the left side, to the visual cortex for processing. But some of this information will be sent to the midbrain, the superior colliculus, specifically the pretectal nucleus, where it will synapse. Here at the pretectal nucleus, a bilateral signal, so a signal to both sides, will be sent to the parasympathetic part of the midbrain, known as the Edinger westphal nucleus. Here it will activate the parasympathetic portion of the left ocular motor nerve and be carried back to the eye via the ciliary ganglion and the short ciliary nerves. Here it will activate the iris sphincter muscles and cause constriction of the pupil. This is the direct response. But because we had bilateral innervation, which sent information across to the right Edinger Westphal, as well as the nasal fibers that crossed over, we will also have activation of the right Edinger Westphal, which means we'll also have activation of the right ocular motor nerve, which will also activate the iris sphincter on the right side, will cause pupil constrict on the right eye, which is the consensual response.